So it's minus 15 today and sunny. Probably one of the more nicer Saturdays that we've had this entire winter. And I'm sitting behind my desk editing bull videos uh, for our upcoming bull sale on March 10th. I have a house full of sick kids and we can't take advantage of this nice warm day. The only nice warm day we've had to build a ski on because our kids are sick. So here I am behind the desk doing some work on probably the nicest day in the year. So at any rate, uh, I've been continually getting distracted by uh, our convention is coming up. Um, excitement within the board and I'm being bugged by members at all hours of the day about uh, what's going on and such. And I just want to talk about a little bit about the uh, afternoon workshop we're having on the Saturday. It's a beekeeper workshop and it's themed building profitability into your honeybee business. So Saturday afternoon, um, February 23rd at one o'clock, we are hosting a beekeeper workshop and we provide this workshop um, part of the convention. Your admission to the convention gets you access to the whole two days of events. Um, but the Saturday afternoon, we're holding it specifically as a workshop. So any everybody is welcome to this. And it costs $25 walking registration. And our intention is some of these conventions are geared um, and the registration fees are a lot of money. Um, and rightly so, because there's a lot of content and we have to cover expenses and all this kind of stuff. But this just provides a function to involve um, all beekeepers within the province. You don't directly have to be involved with uh, the Beekeepers Association. You don't have to actually even have hives, just an interest in beekeeping. And you come that Saturday afternoon, one o'clock, drop down 25 bucks and it gets you admission to take in the afternoon. So from popular demand, the Manitoba Beekeepers Association is holding its beekeeper workshop as part of its 113th annual convention. The walk-in registration opens at 12.30. This is an afternoon crammed full of beekeeping content as we line up our keynote speakers to speak on the workshop theme, building profitability into your honeybee business. It's an afternoon crammed full of beekeeping content lined up for our members to take in and enjoy. For those beekeepers who are new or merely interested in the world of beekeeping, $25 makes this beekeeping workshop available to you. So all the convention information can be found on our website at www.manitobabee.org or on our Facebook page at Manitoba Beekeepers Association. Uh, we keep our Facebook and our um, web page up to date. Uh, so if you want any details, check out the uh, check the information out on there. So I'll just basically run down what's going on through this workshop. The afternoon starts out with Jeff Fittick. So Jeff is a business development specialist. He specializes in commercialization, food and agri-product processing branch of Manitoba Agriculture. And Jeff is a sales and marketing professional and he's been uh, with this for over 20 years now. And he's bringing that experience to the convention to speak specifically to entrepreneurs wanting to offer you know, their product um, on the shelf, uh, through Farmgate, uh, into restaurants, you know, into retail type. Um, he's going to be talking about marketing our products. Um, he's going to be specifically talking about pricing our products and, uh, you know, gleaning the profitability off it. So Jeff is going to be speaking directly on the marketing aspect of selling our honey. Uh, not so much to the beekeeper who sells wholesale, but to the beekeeper who sells local, who sells retail, who sells privately, um, just interjecting a whole lot of experience and knowledge into uh, marketing and honey pricing and gleaning more profit off our product. Then to follow Jeff, we have Les Eccles. He's the uh, Ontario Tech Transfer Program lead. Les is going to specifically be speaking on the Resistant Honeybee Selection Program they have uh, developed in Ontario. Over the years, Les has focused on the development of this Ontario Resistant Honeybee Selection Program. Um, it's quite the interesting task they've taken on there with a cooperation with countless beekeepers 
and their efforts are outstanding. Les will be specifically speaking on that um, that breeding program they've developed and speaking to us as beekeepers on how to incorporate a successful honeybee breeding program into our operation. So just uh, injecting his knowledge on how to establish and maintain a breeding program um, and just the benefits it provides beekeepers by doing such. I'm going to find that interesting. I've, I'm four years into my own uh, sustainable queen rearing operation. I haven't bought imports for quite a number of years now. I'm ex especially interested in his talk here. And to follow Jeff, we have Randy Oliver. Uh, Randy is well known worldwide and he operates a small commercial beekeeping enterprise in the foothills of Grass Valley, North California. So Randy and his two sons manage uh, about 1,500 colonies for pollination. Uh, they produce queens and nukes and honey. Randy has over 50 years of practical beekeeping experience and he holds his BS and MS degrees in biological sciences. Uh, Randy sees the world of beekeeping uh, through the eyes of a biologist. What's really interesting about Randy is he brings his background of academics to the beekeeping world. Randy's able to, you know, he's able to read, study, uh, decipher content. Um, he's been able, he's almost kind of like the, the eyes of the beekeeper when we're trying to make sense of all this information, all this literature, uh, what's going on, um, what's actually the truth and what's legit, what's not legit. Uh, he's provided a huge service to the beekeeping community and hats off to Randy for all his efforts and work he's injected into the beekeep beekeeping industry right now. Um, a lot of the industry we know right now is directly related to the efforts Randy has put into it. And that sounds like a pretty big statement, but I will tell you that practically... Everything I do on this farm um, is directly related to the approach that Randy has brought to our industry. Okay, this is one of the reasons why we brought Randy up here, just at a true appreciation for the efforts he has put towards our industry. And anybody who uh, doesn't know Randy or anybody who uh, is just interested in beekeeping in general, be sure to if you can't attend the convention come and attend this workshop just to sit into his presentation because this is quite the opportunity you have here in manitoba to be able to sit in on an afternoon of speakers of this caliber um, the injection of beekeeping you're going to get is tremendous and you're not going to find it anywhere else but just to get back to randy here and what he's going to be talking about he'll be speaking on beekeeping in the california foothills um, where he uh, will be profiling his farm as he managed through migratory pollination to nukes to queen cells and then out to honey. Their operating approach is from many angles. Uh, they're pulling revenues from many different sources and we specifically asked Randy if he could maybe come and talk about uh, his their operation around nuke production and sales and just all the aspects around you know uh, sending them out to pollination and then they bring them back and then they build out all these nukes and then they, they they make them for sale and extract a lot of cash off them that way. So we thought this would be just a perfect place for uh, Randy to speak on their operating efforts down in California. Well, that pretty much sums up the afternoon. Uh, we're going to, with permission from our speakers, we're going to try to uh, videotape this and we're going to provide the video um, on login access on our Manitoba beekeeping uh, website. So anybody who can't attend, who wants to be able to view uh, the presentations for the afternoon, um, we will have it available on our website, And but it's behind login access. So, you know, we throw the carrot out there. Uh, for you guys to support the Manitoba Beekeepers Association. So that is that. I'm looking forward to it and uh, hope to see you guys there.